Hi guys, welcome back to Miss Educate. Today we're going to learn a new skill called repeated addition. Repeated addition can help us when we are learning our times tables. Now you have to learn all your times tables. It's so important that you know them all. I bet your teachers say that all the time. But whilst we're learning our times tables, this skill will help us to get to the right answer when we don't know one. So let's have a little look at it together now. Say, for instance, we look at the multiplication three times two. How else can we say that? Three times two, three multiplied by two, three groups of two. So what is three times two? Well, you might shout out straight away and say three times two is indeed six. When we're adding together our repeated addition for three times two, what we're really doing is three groups of two. Therefore, two add two, add two. And two add two add two gives us six. Let's look at two times three. So that's two lots of three, two groups of three. And so that is three add three. Looks very similar to our three times two, doesn't it? Two times three and three times two. They're kind of the same, aren't they? Going to come out at the same answer. What about three times seven? What do we get when we got three times seven? Hmm. Have a little think about that one. That's three groups of seven, three lots of seven. Can you write down the repeated addition for that times table? Let's see if it's the same as mine. Mine is seven add seven add seven. Is yours the same? I think that it is. Well done. Let's now think about the answer to that. What is seven? add seven, add seven. You're right, it's 21. So three times seven is 21. And seven times three, well, that's also 21. That is called commutative law. When you have a times table which can be switched around and you're gonna come out with the same answer. What about six times eight? Can you do repeated addition to work out the answer to six times eight. Did you come up with the right answer? Did you do eight, add eight, add eight, add eight, add eight, add eight? And did you come up with 48? What about seven times seven? So seven, lots of seven added together. Did you come out with 49? Well done. You've gained a new skill today, learning how to use repeated addition to help you with your times tables. Well done, guys, and I'll see you next time. Please give a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more content. Hit the bell for notifications. See you soon.